Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Edit Place. And sorry, don't have a camera today. Just shot a 48 hour film festival. So the camera's depleted, batteries drained. Don't feel like setting stuff up, but I still wanted to get a video out today because Color Finale Transcoder is officially released. And rather than just showing pictures and stills, I actually wanted to uh, go through it and uh, show you guys what it's all about. If you are curious about picking this up, you can check it out in the link in the description. It's not an affiliate link. I'm in no way uh, connected to these guys, but they do have a seven day free trial, which does look like it is fully featured. So we're going to see about that, except terms and conditions, of course, and download this guy. Downloads nice and quick. Now, uh, if you didn't see my other video, that's okay. You can check it out if you want. Uh, but basically, this is going to be the first time that you'll be able to import B-RAW footage, RE footage, or Cinema DNG, and other unsupported codecs from Final Cut uh, into Final Cut. So that's pretty cool. All right, and if you end up buying a license, of course, you can put that in there. Let's see, it should be all installed. So I'm gonna go open Final Cut. I haven't looked into how to actually utilize it or anything, um, but I do see, I believe this is the extensions icon. So we see the transcoder right here. So let's have an empty event and project set up here. And rather than doing the, you know, command I uh, and going through this import screen, we're gonna, I'm guessing, go through the transcoder screen. Yep. So this brings up a new window. Kind of looks very similar to the import screen. We can see our file management over here. Uh, I'm guessing a preview pane and some parameters. So speaking of the short film I just shot, let's go in and take a look at some of this footage. Now we see what footage we're working with here. It does look like they're watermarking it for the trial, which is totally fair. So uh, at least we can see all the features around it. So when you're scrubbing through footage, honestly, it's nice just to even get a preview. This is groundbreaking in itself, considering I've never been able to view B-RAW footage uh, straight from here. One frame forward or to the end, first frame. Can I play back? Nope. Doesn't look like you can actually play back anything. So it's just scrubbing through. Now on the right hand side here uh, is all the parameters we have. So you can choose what you are transcoding to. Uh, so different variations of ProRes essentially. Uh, I can do different resolutions, the full and the color space as well. And I see black magic design do extended video gen five. And we can see the preview updated here. And then every camera in every format is going to be a little bit different for what settings you get. So if you import RE footage or cinema DNG, you may have some other options, but here I have all my typical black magic stuff. Uh, it's pretty basic. You're not going to definitely be able to do a bunch of color correcting or uh, grading in here, but you can fix kind of the easy stuff. So I can go through and compensate exposure, even change your ISO. It's interesting, at the bottom you can see your estimated file size and it updates as, obviously exposures shouldn't really change the file size, but that is interesting. Of course you can reset to default and then it looks like it adds it to a new event and it defaults to just the date, but you can go in and I could say this is from the Pocket 6K Pro uh, and it will create it under that name. Now I can go through and just select one uh, clip or I can do multiple. The other nice thing is if I made corrections to this, like let me just make some really drastic ones here so you can tell the difference. So obviously a lot darker, add some green in there. Uh, you can actually copy these settings and paste them onto the other clips. Let's see, can you select a bunch and paste to them all? Yeah. And once you've made the corrections you want, go ahead and hit import. All right, and it looks like we have a bunch of offline media until it gets transcoded, which takes place in the background. So we can see all those clips uh, working there. 
So we can see that the background task completed and now we can see our footage up here. I'm going to X out of here. And now we have these clips in their full resolution. Of course, it's ProRes uh, HQ. Of course, this watermark wouldn't be here if you purchase a license. And again, the only downside is the fact that uh, you're grading ProRes uh, footage, which is still very flexible, but it of course is not raw. So um, yeah, just do that with it what you will. So there you guys have it. What do you guys think about the transcoder? Again, this is gonna be ProRes once it actually gets into here. So I'm not gonna have access to my raw controls. So it's not as good as editing in like DaVinci Resolve. Um, or having true raw support inside of Final Cut. I really hope that day comes still, but huge shout out to the Color Finale team because this is a huge improvement for those unsupported codecs. Uh, and it seems like a really simple, clean interface that honestly isn't lagging. It's going pretty quick, uh, transcoding just as fast as anything else would. So hats off to you guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.